Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. We are here today to do some PlayStation VR 2 news. We're gonna talk about another game in the development that it happens to be a triple A game, which is something we want more on PlayStation VR 2. Speaking about big games, we've got some brand new information and screenshots from Aces of Thunder. Also, a bit of new gameplay from Vertigo 2. Uh, update for Creed Rise to Glory and some footage from the Happy Funland. So let's get started. Uh, let's get going. And we're gonna begin from this triple A game, which apparently is being developed. I'm gonna tell you all about it. And here we are uh, on the Road to VR website. Uh, we're gonna talk about Vertigo Games. They just released the seventh guest. And also they're releasing very soon uh, Arizona Sunshine 2, which I cannot wait for, it's looking great. Anyway, Arizona Sunshine Studio working on unannounced AAA VR game based on a global franchise. So, according to a recent job offer posted by Amsterdam-based developer Vertigo Games, pre-production has begun on a high-profile multi-platform AAA VR game, which is said to be based on global, globally recognized franchise. So basically something big. We already got confirmation as well that it will be coming to PSVR 2. So, posted earlier this month, the studio is looking for lead level designer with a proven track record in uh, level designing for console, which confirms it's a VR game, so of course it's confirmed console PlayStation VR. A PC action adventure game, so we know it's going to be something what's action adventure. What it is, I do not know, but let's speculate a bit. And the first game that comes in mind to me, I might be totally wrong, but anyway, let's talk about it. So they own by Vertigo Games is owned by the Embracer Group, and the Embracer Group owns the right to Tomb Raider. A few years ago they got them from Square Enix. Tomb Raider is a very good action-adventure game that already doubled in VR. You know, dip their, dip, dip their little toes, that's my fingers, let's pretend they are toes. They dip them in the water. Where in the first Tomb Raider game on PSVR 2, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, was it? I can't remember, but anyway. There was that experience when you was exploring uh, Lara Croft mansion, uh, so, so you know, that would be awesome if it's uh, globally recognizable IP as well. That's just that just comes to my mind uh, as a person who would like to play more Tomb Raider in VR, Tomb Raider. I mean, but feel free to write me down your guesses in the comment section because my guess is as good as yours at the moment, uh, but just trying to speculate a bit, don't take my word like it's uh, confirmed that we get in Tomb Raider game coming to VR, but you know what, that would be pretty awesome. Um, I would play with my titties. Now. Okay, we're gonna talk about Aces of Funder now, we are here in the lands of Facebook. So they uh, released some posts on their socials. Uh, oh wow, I'm too big here. Let's make myself smaller. Uh, but on X, which used to be Twitter, it's shorter post, so you want more or info. So, Aces of Wonder today posted. We continuing to introduce aircraft to the upcoming realistic military flight simulator, Aces of Wonder, which is being developed for the PlayStation VR 2. Today, we talk about the aircraft flown by pilots from the Axis countries, which include those that went down in history as record holders for the number of air duels won. The German Air Force will receive two modifications of the famous BF-109, which was an aircraft that reminded Revelant until the very end of the war, the F-4 and G-2. Those modifications will compete with the even more capable FW-190, which was the a threat to Alice both on the western and the eastern fronts. And lastly, the heavier BF-110, which was used in the invasion of Poland, <laughs> France and Norway, and by the middle of the war, was repurposed as a night fighter in the defense of Reich. Territory. 
Those are four Luftwaffe aircrafts that will come to your hangar in Aces of Funder. Next time, so you know what they're gonna show us next time. Now another T's here. We talk more about their opponents from the Eastern Front. Stay tuned. Let's have a look at some screenshots. This is one of the screenshots. You can see, I can see here already dynamic shadows. Speaking about the clouds, I don't think, I think they just, uh, just clouds. They're not those um, volumetric clouds. Uh, I can see here a bit of shimmering on the line, but not too much, of course. Uh, probably just for weight attending, I don't know, or not. Uh, but yeah, everything looks nice and crispy otherwise. I don't know what that bit here is. Uh, you can see some ground, you can see some lightning effects as well. Uh, and some materials they're using, so nice shine here. Uh, so yeah, looking good. Uh, what I like, I like this shot. Shows us, first of all, a long drawing distance. We got city here in the background. But also the texture on the ground is quite detailed and we've got a lot of foliage and uh, 3D models and objects itself. Something what Project Wingman sadly failed to, the, to deliver. Uh, and I like this shot as well of Pilot Hunt. Look, the drawing distance is pretty impressive about this game. Like I said, they probably can do it because the cloud seems to be just a... I don't know, unless I'm wrong, maybe they are volumetric clouds. I don't know. Uh, so while I like volumetric clouds in the VR games uh, like this type, they just look so much more realistic. But hey, no matter. Nice water here, river swimming. So river swimming, can river swim? So yeah, Aces of Funder, definitely looking good. Stay tuned to the channel. Next time you get some information from the Eastern Front, motherfucker. Okay, and now that's me trying to do Eastern accent, even though I am from those regions. How weird was that? Uh, very. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about Perp Games. And you've got a little bit of footage. Speaking about Eastern, you got a little bit of footage from the Vertigo 2. And what I like about it is, you got footage of AK-47. Uh, and why I like it is when I was in Navy myself, back in the day when I just become an adult, I went there. Um, that's what we was using. I think now in Polish Army, I, I moved out from Poland in 2007. I've not been back for a while. But I think in Polish Army now they're using like better weapons than this. But this is like a workhorse of a weapon. With a reputation that it never breaks, but of course it does. Uh, but still uh, fun, fun to use in real life, just to feel the force of it. But anyway, they showed us some uh, some gameplay here with using it, and there you got reloading. So first of all, what this gameplay shows, it's a bit of mix of a only five seconds clip, by the way, mix of a arcade and realism here, and also what I like the cover shooter. Look how many covers you've got around here. Uh, a lot of happening. Uh, you kind of he kind of shoots from the hip here, uh, but the reloading is done pretty cool. You can even flick off the uh, magazine. Uh, so looking good here. Uh, one of the levels. I'm assuming this is PSVR2 footage. This game still coming this year. One of my most anticipated ones to play, but it's uh, slightly delayed, so we don't know the exact release date yet. But I'm assuming they just polishing you know, some final bugs and stuff to make it work properly. As we know, we've had a lot of releases that didn't deliver. So I think Perp Games, they had a, like a slew of delays of their games. I think they watching what community is saying and they want to get it right from the get go. Speaking about Perp Games, they publishing as well. A Happy Funland, a game that I, the more I see, the more I want to play it. So this is a video from one of Raichu. <coughs> When you talk for so long, eventually your throat goes dry and you cough. Um, one of the rides, uh, so let's play it. Just a little footage, but hey, looks nice. I'm, I'm, I want to enjoy it, experiencing it. Uh, so you can see around what is happening. The game is done by Spectral Illusions, a company that actually specialized in those uh, dark rides uh, attractions. So they know what they're doing. Uh, I'm glad they bring in their stuff to PSVR too, because they've been doing some good stuff. So we're gonna enjoy your day, I think, in a very creepy, abundant theme park with some horror vibes. The game looking cool. Okay, you just got some skeleton uh, which went away because you uh, punched it. Okay, so that's not everything for today. 
Kid dies to glory, you have to give it to the Survios, they do support this game a lot. And it's got yet another free update. Kid Rise to Glory Championship Edition launches the free Sweet Science update November 7 on PSVR 2, which is tomorrow. So, as exclusive first look at new fitness features and newly added fighter from the classic franchise. You've got another playable character, but also what they add in is some cool stuff. From improved matchmaking to a slew of fitness update. Plus, a brand new playable fighter. We don't mean this lightly when we say you need your, you'll be on your way to mastering the sweet science of PlayStation VR boxing. Science we simply hours away from the content update going live. Let's go ahead and dive into what makes this update so sweet. So there you go. While experience is king, we know how necessary fitness is in every champion's journey. Introducing the many ways Creed Rise to Glory Championship Edition can bring you closer to your fitness and game. Players can now set personal calorie or time goals no matter what mode or fight they are in. Whenever you out duking in the player versus player with a friend or working out in the various teams available to you, your goals stay within thick and thin. Simply open the handheld menu with your PSVR 2 Sense controller and navigate to the fitness goals. There you can tweak your calorie or time goals on the fly. As you play, you can track your total time and calorie burn per play session. Now more accurate than ever with our improved calorie tracking algorithm. They never perfect, you know, those calorie tracking. If you believe that you burn so many calories, the number is it's never gonna be perfect, just so you know. Uh, anyway, and of course, players can continue to utilize the calorie and time sparring modules under fitness mode for Trilord Fitness Focus Session. Tommy Goon enters the ring heavyweight champion legend Tommy the Machine Goon. So this is from the Rocky V, which I think was the one was didn't make money or make the least amount, I don't know. Famously portrayed by Tommy Morrison in Rocky V, arrives in the ring to fight anytime, any place, anywhere, with raw and incomparable power. Tommy is a force to be reckoned with in our extension roster of playable exten exten wait, is that meant to say extensive roster of playable PvP characters. And for our deluxe edition owners. You will automatically receive an additional exclusive glow costume for Tommy Goon upon an update. Wow! So yeah. Nice update. Shout out to Survios for supporting this game for free for such a long time. And also shout out to all the patrons. <coughs> God damn it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you want to scroll down there in the background, go to patreon.com slash polishpolvr. From just one dollar. This is me showing you number one. There you go. You can be a scroller in the bottom. And for now, that's it. Bye, 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 bye.